You, you build a workforce. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's highly skilled labor that can be trained and paid decent wages to work mm -hmm. on movies and to build crews in an industry and give hundreds and hundreds of people jobs, mm -hmm. all the way from production through post-production. Okay. It's a fantastic industry to build and grow because it puts people to work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's carpenters, there's electricians, there's, you know, art department people, painters, all kinds of people that get put to work. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the crime when somebody doesn't do that because it's sitting there, it's laying right there, the opportunity to create a workforce that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. and, and all the statistics are there, all the states in the, in, the, in the United States that have tax incentives, the provinces in Canada and other countries, they have all those statistics about how it builds a workforce workforce and how it you, builds and it helps the economy you with, want, with a green industry. Yeah, you want to put up a school here, but my question is, aside from a school, how viable is it for the Philippines to become, I don't know if I'm using the right word, the backlot mm -hmm. or the production, go-to uh, production place for films? Because uh, they always say, uh, are, are we actually cheap? Uh, affordable uh, in terms of movie production because some people say well no see the Philippines is a bit expensive to produce because we all have to fly there you guys don't have all the equipment and and there are a lot of challenges you you've been on the ground yeah you've moved around how ideal or imperfect is the Philippines if let's say secretary secretary Bernard Romulo uh, you know pushed let's have cinema tourism in the Philippines and job creation well, I've, I've scouted and gone to a lot of countries around the world, but especially around Asia. And the reality is it is cheaper. Mm -hmm. Labor's cheaper. A lot of things are cheaper, all the way down to hotels, nice ones too. Mm -hmm. So that helps. That helps even without an incentive. Because I've actually matched budgets between Malaysia and, and, and the Philippines. And even with the Malaysian tax incentive, which is 30% across the board, the Malaysian rates are higher, crew rates are higher, hotels are a little higher. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, for, for you're spending a little bit more money in Malaysia, you're getting 30% of it back, mm -hmm. but by the time you actually do the math mm -hmm. and you see how much lower the wages are here, the difference by, I, I have to show this to investors all the time, yeah. the difference by going to Malaysia isn't that great. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it basically isn't enough to justify necessarily not going here. Okay. So I think it is a good place to shoot. That's where, why that that's why I, I like doing it. Where are we dropping the bucket here, or, or you know, uh, losing out? Do we need to appoint someone or create a marketing office to promote the Philippines as a go-to production uh, location? Yeah, I think I think the you know every country has a film commission. Mm. You know, there are organizations here, but they're disparate. And there's FDCP, which is a good organization, mm -hmm. government organization, to, to try to fill that gap, you yeah. know.